This article was sent to me by Ashton Lewis, and it's a very disturbing and sad one. But the, the thing I think that's sad about it is I'm almost expecting this to continue to go up in numbers as this quarantine period and this lockdown continues to go forward. So in this picture, you see a girl by the name of Joviani Smith. She's 15 years old from Stockton, California, and she was found hanging inside of her home um, this past week. And the reason why they said that she committed suicide is because she was having trouble dealing with the lockdown. Um, basically, she was, you know, as a teenager, she wasn't able to probably, you know, see her friends, go to school, uh, hang out, do the things that, you know, a lot of teenagers would love to do. And the pressure was getting to her. And, you know, cabin fever is one hell of a, you know what? And she just ended up, they found her hanging in her room. But I'm going to go ahead and read this article coming from face to face Africa dot com. A teenage girl in California died by suicide after reportedly struggling to cope with the state's stay at home orders amid the virus outbreak. 15 year old Joviani Smith from Stockton was found dead inside her home after she hanged herself last week. Her mother, Danielle Hunt, said that Smith did not leave any note behind explaining her death. Hunt, however, believes that her daughter had trouble dealing with the ongoing virus lockdown. We can't think that our kids are OK just because I felt that I was doing all that. I could as a parent to leave the communication open. Smith, who was described as a bubbly and loving, was a sophomore and a student athlete at Bear Creek High School. She played softball, basketball, and music. And see, just reading the activity she was in, you can tell she was social. So she probably missed all of that activity and missed being around her friends. And it got to her that she couldn't do those activities. She couldn't be around her friends. It's, it, 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 it's the thing where, okay, you can talk to them over FaceTime or Instagram Live that we can have some kind of face-to-face -face contact. But it's not the same as physically being there in front of them and also engaging in the activities in which y'all love to enjoy on a daily basis. A coach at Smith School told RecordNet that the cause of death reportedly was due to the stresses and pressure from coping with the self-isolation caused by the pandemic. One of Smith's former softball coaches who was devastated after being told of her death says she was a bright star with a great personality and a huge heart and a bright future. It has been extremely hard to relate to what these kids are going through. I have daily conversations with my two high schoolers and encourage them to reach out to their friends and teammates. I can't imagine what Joe was going through. Bill Fletcher, who was also one of Smith's former coaches, urged parents to communicate with their children about this pandemic and help them deal with the stress it brings. I can't imagine what Joe was going through come to this conclusion, to come to this conclusion. Fletcher reportedly wrote on a Facebook group post. Her mom is a single mom with her own catering business, which in these times couldn't have been, couldn't have been going well. Smith's mother, Hunt, is at the moment working to raise awareness about suicide and mental health amid the pandemic that has killed over 20,000 Americans and affected more than 500,000. I will still do my best to tell my daughter's story. Sometimes we may need to stop and worry about the kids that we don't think we need to worry about. In California, more than 600 people have died from the virus with around 20,000 infected. Its governor created mandatory stay-at-home orders on March 19th, and the state's virus website say these orders will continue until further notice. That's a very uh, sad and, like I said, tragic story. But like I said, the scary part about it is, it, is I, have a, I have a concern that this might continue to happen. I will hope that it doesn't. Um, but the reason I'm saying is because these kids are young. They're active. Well, um, many of them are active in more ways than one. And when you put a halt, a, an extreme pause on that, on their daily life style activities, it just it kind of hits them harder than it would an adult, I would say, because, you know, as a teenager, she really doesn't she really didn't have any responsibilities. She um she didn't have any bills to pay. As far as I know, she just, you know, was being, you know, being a kid. And like I said, it, it will hit them harder than it would hit an adult who who is two different spectrums. It's two different lifestyles going on. So, yeah, I would definitely agree and say that if you have kids, especially if you have teenagers, 
to definitely talk to them about the stresses of this pandemic and definitely show them this story. Most definitely, because it's not getting that much traction. I think I saw it maybe one one other time. Um, and that's about it, because I think I seen her picture, but I didn't know who she was. I didn't click on it. Um, so it's very unfortunate that this happened. She's only 15. She was only 15. Like she didn't, she didn't even get a chance to get out of her teen, teen years or experience the other parts of, uh, her teenage life or even going into adulthood. It was that much for her. It, it, it was too much pressure. And I have a feeling that it's many more teenagers out there that feel the same exact way. But I hope they don't go to these extremes. But definitely rest in peace to this um this girl. My condolences to her mother and to her friends and to her teachers and anybody else that has that knows her. And now that she's gone, you know, with the the social distancing thing in place and not having more than ten people ten people in a room at a time. I don't know how the f- funeral arrangements would be because I think right now you have to do it digitally. Like they'll have the uh the funeral there, but you have to watch it unless you're probably like a media family or something like that. You would have to watch it over some type of private stream or something like that. I'm sure they'll let her. I'm, I'm almost certain they'll let the mother be in the room, but it's just it's it's crazy. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Have your notifications turned on, and I'll talk to you in the next one.